remember I've never really had anything like rememberable from Friday the thirteenth, <laughs> you know? <laughs> You know what? I don't even know why I'm friends with you guys. <laughs> don't go out in public. You don't need to. Get through Friday the 13th with the bare minimum. I mean, you probably do need to because most people work. Well, I know, but... And they're I'm not going to as well at you like, oh, it's Friday the 13th. I'm trying First day to home. <laughs> We're starting a movement. Nobody <laughs> works on Friday the 13th. It's like that joke, you know, you walk into a whorehouse and pull down your pants and they look at it and start laughing. And like, Who are you going to please with that? Yeah. You look at them, me. No, my wife says all the time, you're perfect for me. And it makes me feel great about myself. And that's why she says it. Exactly. Not because it's true, <laughs> but because it makes you feel good. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. I did it. Her puss are mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up there? What it is? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh. This yeah. Is, this is the jam. Probably the best pre-recorded. I don't even know what you call that. Standard. We didn't have to pay for rights to this. No. Well, yeah, technically, when we bought the machine. Well, here. the only thing we had to do was uh, basically put it in the order we wanted it to play. <laughs> that was it. Oh, yeah. You know, create the order. The fuck is that? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Here like, we what go. What the fuck is that sound? Hollywood's phone's fucking going off again. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the only time he silences his ringer is for when we're rec recording. We're at but work. he didn't turn off the vibrate. And that fucking vibrate was loud. That was Dude. loud. Um, is that a new phone? It's a new phone. That was loud. Dude, when we're at work, well, every 30 seconds, his phone is making some sort of chirping fucking noise. It's... <laughs> I like to have the noises because... <laughs> like, he's, he's Dude, sitting because... here in a text message conversation knowing that there's text messages coming back to him. And he still has the sound wide up. He's looking at his phone, waiting for him to respond, and it goes. So, let's speak on that. Okay. My phone needs to be on loud for my alarm clock in the morning. Yes. And yeah. you guys, at like nine thirty, trying to go, trying to sleep. Nine thirty. Uh, fucking sending text messages in the group chat. No, that's when I that's video. when I go to sleep. Roughly. I, no. What well, What was last night? Last night was. Oh, that was, was nine thirteen. That was that video because it was so <laughs> fucking funny. <laughs> Did you watch it? No, not last night. I didn't. But you watched it. I saw that it was the group chat, and I silenced that fucker for for like half an hour yeah and then i was hoping you guys were all done with it so then i clicked it back on to loud <sighs> okay so <laughs> so now that we know where his uh his responsibilities lie uh jeremy <laughs> i i regret to say this but uh, i regret to inform you but uh <laughs> we're gonna need you to send us a uh this is resignation your, this letter. is your two-week notice for a you guys have letter. spent a lot of money on this equipment here to just up and can somebody <laughs> that's working for free well, well when you put it that way are you working for free are blowjobs free jeremy are they because you've received a lot of them received <laughs> <laughs> What have you been doing? That's not how it's supposed to work. Uh, that wasn't that in the contract? No, when I take him in the cornfield, he does me. Oh, you fucking swindler. <laughs> you fucking swindled the dumb kid. <laughs> there you go. Picking Once on the again, dumb kid the again. Dumb kid. Man. Speaking of that, did I tell you the story of what your mom told me? You guys are going to I hell. Was, I was hanging out with your mom the other weekend at a wedding. Yep. And she told me <laughs> about you back in school. Yeah. She would have to go to go to school because the teachers would call her in just to tell her, you know, Colby 
He's just not quite getting it. <laughs> okay. He just, Let me elaborate. He's just a little behind everybody else. But if there's something broken, he wants to be the first one to fix it. Right. But he can never hey. quite fix it. <laughs> hey, let me explain this story. Okay. So my mom got fucking sidebarred while she was picking us up in like the parent pickup lane. She came to pick me up from school. And my teacher came out and like fucking, hey, I need to talk to you for a second. And she was like, Colby's just not, when it comes to reading, the comprehension, we're not <laughs> really there. And she thought it was a problem. I was like, yeah, fuck reading. That's stupid. I don't want to <laughs> fucking do that, right? Obviously. So apparently there was an issue where she thought I was like, just, I wasn't getting it. Well, I think I had an untreated case of ADHD growing up my entire fucking life because it was one of those I'd start reading a book and I could retain the first page, but when I flipped that page, all of a sudden I was reading but thinking about everything else I wanted to be doing but reading, right? So I didn't, I didn't catch any of it. Well, turns out there's different learning styles, and I was more of like a hands-on guy. Like if you just broke a bunch of shit and put it on a table... I could put it back together for you. But if you gave me a book, I couldn't tell you what the fuck it was about. Hmm. So it's only call, if they had words to tell you what it was about. Call me dumb. <laughs> call me special. I'm going with special. Well, you are special. See, and I heard this story as they were looking into like special schooling for you. Yeah, and see, my gonna mom. ship you off. And, <laughs> and what's funny is my mom, she fucking warned me <laughs> that she told you about that story. <laughs> She's like, I'm so sorry. And I texted her, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, I am so mad right now. And my mom like sent me like crying face emojis, like, oh my God, really? And I'm like, <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I made sure to even ask her. Like when she started telling yeah. me this story, I was like, "Oh, she. Oh, yeah. Tell, tell me more. Keep coming." <laughs> she was. <laughs> I made sure to ask her when she was done. I was like, "So I got all this written down. I'm like, did I miss anything?" <laughs> it's, she, it's, she, she reached out to me and was like apologizing about it because she's like, "I was just telling the story. We were on like a certain topic and." Uh, it reminded me of that. So I was telling the story and then I realized that I kind of messed up a little bit because Jeremy was really, <laughs> really into the story. And I'm like, I wonder why, mom. <laughs> I was like, well, it is what it is. Anyway, happy Friday the 13th, everybody. Any way to fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Dumb, dumb. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so uh, happy Friday the 13th. Hope it, you guys haven't uh, fallen on an axe or something today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Friday the 13th. Yeah. Are you suspicious about Friday the 13th? Uh, what is it? I'm not superstitious, but I am a little stitious. A little stitious. <laughs> Michael Scott. <laughs> once said by the great Michael Scott. Do you remember how we talked about the fears episode? And how there's <sighs> a bunch of weird, like, phobias. and Yes. There's actually a phobia of... Friday the thirteenth. Is there really? Yeah, it's called. That doesn't surprise me. After we give me did a, this. give me a second. Phobia. It's called Friga Triska. Hold on, Friga Triskaidekaphobia. Friggin' Triskaidekaphobia. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, fuck you said. Wait, that say too. that again. Friggin' Triskaidekaphobia. Triskaidekaphobia. No. I would have fucking fear said that's a fear of triscuits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Them fucking things are good. Fear of friggin' triscuits. <laughs> Yeah, they're okay. <laughs> oh, me and Jeremy are gonna fucking beat oh. you up right now for not liking Dude, Triscuits. We just we just got some like <laughs> smoked Gouda. Mm -hmm. Dude, that, those are that's where it's at. Jeremy said Triscuits. I looked at him. He looked at me. We <laughs> locked eyes. We had a moment, and we're like same page. Yeah. And you said that. Okay. Anyway, and I can <laughs> I can feel the hate. Quit quit fucking digressing there. Quit fucking yeah, geriatric fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this guy. Okay, so yeah, go fear ahead with what you're saying. I just told you there's a fear of. So you yelled at me for degressing, and then you have nothing to say. Yes, you you're <laughs> degressing too much. Fucking guy. Okay, Friday the thirteenth phobia. Friday the thirteenth. You want to hear an interesting fact about Friday the thirteenth? Sure, I got one too. So you do ready? I. I have another interesting fact about it. So this is actually. This just goes to show you how superstitious fucking people are, right? 
because I don't believe in a whole lot of superstitious shit. I make comments about like instant karma and stuff like that, whatever, but I'm not really like a superstitious guy. The world economy loses almost $9 million every time there's a Friday the 13th. I believe that. Because, and it says, because people are afraid to travel to work. Mm -hmm. uh, And it says that people are afraid to leave their houses. Yeah. (laughs) I believe that. That's so fucking... (laughs) People get real into superstitions and shit. So, I say it's dumb, but after, after reading that, I went into another little deal here. Because I was like, well, you know what? Like, leaving your house and blah, blah, blah. Like, that's a little much, right? Like, okay, some bad shit can happen to you. And it might be a coincidence of Friday the 13th. But maybe it's not. Maybe you just had bad luck that day. But there was a guy. I can't remember where I put this. Anyway, uh, there was a guy that for like 10 or 12 years straight, every time there was a Friday the 13th, his life basically fell apart. One one of the days, he wrecked a motorcycle and about died. The other four years, he wrecked his vehicle on Friday the four, or 13th and totaled all of them, almost died. Uh, the one day, he threw a stick for his dog. He was playing with his dog in the front yard on Friday the 13th. Threw the stick, hit his wife in the face, about killed her <laughs> with a fucking stick. <laughs> so so then, so then there was a whole plethora of other things that happened but the guy ultimately said okay fuck friday the 13th can't get me if i'm laying in my bed right had a heart attack he spent the rest of his life friday the 13th every time there was one he called into work stayed home stayed in his bed didn't leave whatever great never had another issue the guy passed away it didn't say of what but his wife said, we're going to bury him on Friday the 13th. And it just so happened they had to wait like 45 days or whatever. for, So they were trying to work it out. And every place that could bury him in the place that they were trying to bury him were booked. <laughs> and they could. So the wife couldn't even bury him on Friday the 13th. Really? Yeah. Wait, like, how do they book out? Oh, <laughs> like she was waiting right for so long she should be able to be first in she line she should have been right? first in line like, right hey, that's what Friday i thought the 13th and but, those people are just like yeah i'm gonna kill this person so like but give, okay. me, give me that time slot <laughs> apparently <laughs> he had such bad luck with friday the 13th that burying him on that date didn't even work out mm-hmm. so there's one case out of what Billions of people in the, the planet. One wow. case, that guy had the worst luck ever on Friday the 13th. I think some of that's self-inflicted, though. Oh, yeah. He probably went into that day like, you know what I mean? Like, think good, be good. He probably went into it like, oh, shit, it's Friday the 13th. So he probably, he probably fucked himself. Probably, but, yeah, you know, a little bit. You know, I thought that was interesting. Do you know uh, one of the, the theories or whatever of how Friday the 13th came to be like a superstitious holiday, I guess you want to call it, whatever. No. Originated back from like the Knights Templar. I did hear a story about that, but. So, well, they were really rich, obviously, you know, and had a lot of fucking guests. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> Kobe, Dude. I did hear a story about that, but. Uh, I'm not. I don't know it. Yeah. Go I'm ahead. Not, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking I, about. I know, I know there was something with the Knights Templar on Friday the 13th, but I'm not. I don't know what it is. Well, so the king, King Philip of the Fourth of France, right? Okay. So he basically, he was, he was greedy. Basically, he wanted all, he wanted their fucking money and he did the same thing to like the jews and stuff to like get their their money and shit because he was huh. greedy i guess so he sent what? out these he sent out these letters and shit that said basically that they were uh committing all kinds of like crazy sex rituals and black magic and all this shit and it was on friday the 13th and had a bunch of them uh like arrested and tortured and killed and it was basically it was like it's not gonna go into the whole thing but it was like a whole spiel with like the pope and all this shit about fucking 
uh, the Knights Templar, and basically like they were doing black magic and have, doing just all kinds of crazy shit that they weren't doing, and then they tortured them and they confessed to them because they were fucking. One of the tortures they were doing is they were, they would tie their hands behind their backs, yeah, and then they would lift, take a like a rope or whatever, and lift them from their their, from hands. their hands. And it would like dislocate Can their arms. Can you fucking imagine oh, that? Fuck. <laughs> that would hurt quite a bit. Oh my god. Yeah. Do you know how bad that would fucking suck? Mm-hmm. I dude, it hurts. I'm at that age right now where like I get my hands locked behind my back and it hurts. Yeah, and sometimes let, you can't uh, unlock. It's like, fuck. <laughs> let, let alone getting fucking hoisted up in the air like that. Oh, my God, dude. But I think, I think my arms would just come clean off. They're, everything, that shit's so, oh, my. Here I am. I'm trying to see what it feels like. <laughs> That's, so the Knights Templar, you know, and here, here's the other thing. Why has everybody always hated Jews? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I think I think you're talking like mainly just Hitler. Like, yeah, Jews were like a big factor in in history, but well, yeah, I but he was that. just saying, was it King something? I'm guessing King Henry of France. Is that what you said, King Henry something no, of France? King Philip the Fourth. Philip the Fourth. Philip Henry. He didn't hate. Whatever. No, he just he. <laughs> said something about Jews a few minutes ago, and I just got this thought. I'm like, why does everybody hate fucking Jews? So he expelled them. He expelled Jews. them so he could confiscate their property and their money and all that shit. Uh, but so, yeah, you're so the same thing that fucking Hitler did. Yeah, Hitler. He's not the only one. The fucking like Muslims and stuff don't. That is terrible. Well, I don't <laughs> fucking. People. I don't know exactly why Hitler's where his hate of them came, but. I don't know. We don't need to go into that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a whole episode on yes, itself. Yeah, yeah. Why is everybody always mad at Jews? I don't get it. Adam Sandler's a fucking great dude. One of my favorite actors. Oh, dude. For sure, by far. Oh, right? Might be my favorite. Yeah. We should, we should get a hold of his manager and see if we can have Adam Sandler on the podcast. <laughs> okay. You know how cool that would be? Yeah. Adam Sandler, if you ever come across this and you want to be on our podcast, that would be fucking cool. We would love to have you here. I will feed you, and I will fill you full of booze, and we'll just talk. He quit drinking. I feel like I feel like you'd be you and him would be dressed very similar. Probably <laughs> just yeah. random put yeah. together clothes. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> That's very accurate. Yeah. Right. yeah, I guarantee he'd be a fucking riot to hang out with. Did you know Buckingham Palace is bombed on? Uh, Friday the thirteenth in World War Two. In World War Two, mm-hmm. it's Friday the really? thirteenth. Yeah, Bucking- Buckingham Buckingham Palace. Hmm. Huh. Oh, they must have like fixed it and shit then. Obviously. Yeah. Do you know the White House was on fire at one point? Yeah, the White House has been like <laughs> rebuilt. <laughs> the White House has been rebuilt like what, tw- like twice? I think. I don't know. I think it's been rebuilt twice. Since then, there's conspiracy theories about that too. The White House, yeah. when, when it caught on fire, because it burnt like almost all the way down. Mm-hmm. They they lit it on fire on purpose, is what the conspiracy is, so that they could create, they could use it as a reason to create underground bunker and underground escape tunnels. So that they had an option for getting the president and anybody of like high congressional status out of the White House in the event of emergency. So they their the conspiracy was that they were gonna start it on fire and burn it down, and then during the rebuild process, they would just cover everything up while they're rebuilding, you know. Yeah. And then they're they're probably just looking for the insurance money. That's what I was probably, thinking. Definitely just wanting that insurance money. They yeah. raised everybody's taxes. Yeah, I got to rebuild the White House, you know. Yeah. Hunter, hey. Hunter mm-hmm. Biden needs more cocaine, and so <laughs> let's burn this bitch. <laughs> yeah, he burned a bitch down. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> so uh, there was something I was reading on the Friday the 13th here that hasn't happened yet, but it's going to happen. Okay. And... 
unfortunately, unless we take a trip to Southeast Asia or certain parts of, what did they say? Or no, parts of Asia and parts of Europe, we won't be able to see it happen. But on Friday, April 13th of 2029, there is a meteor, a very large meteor, that's going to come within 18,000 miles of the Earth's surface. I thought it was 20-something thousand. Nope, it's 18,000 miles. And that is closer than the satellites and, like, the Starlink and everything that we have. What if? Right. And it's supposed to come super close and super big. And they said everybody will be able to see it clear as day as long as they're on, like, the side of the Earth that's nighttime where it goes over. And it's going to happen, yeah, Friday the 13th, April 20. What if that's the same one that I was reading about, which I'm sure it is, and when I read it, it was 20,000 miles. Now you read it, it's 18,000 miles. And like in another couple months, it'll be 16,000 miles. And pretty soon, once it actually actually is that fucking day, it yeah. actually just choop, right into the fucking earth. Yeah. And so boom, we die. If that's what's going to happen, it's, it's going to be like uh, the movie Don't Look Up with Leonardo DiCaprio. Very good movie. Did you so watch you say, it yet? No. You haven't watched it yet. Okay. So you're doing what I do when you tell me to watch movies. I got things I got to do. <laughs> exactly. Me too. So, but what we're going to do, if that's what's going to happen, we're going to die by asteroid. We're going to have a big old fucking get together out here. And we're all going to be partying and drinking and having good food and hanging out with good company when that motherfucker hits. Mm. And we'll be listening to good music, having ourselves a great old time. Okay. And then the whole party's going to be ruined by a fucking really badass fucking blast of wind that knocks everything to the fucking dirt, kills us instantly. Okay. You Sounds down? Good. I'm down. Sure. All of you will be invited. I promise you it'll be a party you won't want to miss. Do you know Tupac died on Friday the 13th? You motherfucker. <laughs> you I, did, gonna say I, that, I did know that. Yeah. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah. He wasn't shot on Friday the 13th, but he died, he like, died. in the hospital he on, Friday, died on the Friday the 13th. I didn't know that. Which they did find his killer, allegedly. Yeah. that Just is, recently. That's yeah. being worked on right now. He just got uh, indicted on murder charges for that. And did you know that he got indicted because he went on, I don't know if it was just like a, an interview or if it was a podcast. Not sure what it was, but he apparently was invited on some sort of interview, podcast, whatever you want to call it. And they went over the story and was like, yeah, yeah, no, you know, we rolled up, we shot him and blah, blah. He had been a suspect the whole time. They just didn't have anything on him. Yeah. And then when they released that interview they did with him, that was the verbal confession they needed to link him as a suspect to him as a, uh, basically the guy that did it. So then when it came out, they fucking went and got him. Hmm. Yeah. Wait, you, so is you, that true? It, is that a like a, No, that's a true thing. Yeah. I huh. was I literally was uh I was watching a thing on it and because that's pretty fucking wild that, that after all these years, that's that's what uh got him. Yeah. And like why why would this person be on a on an interview or podcast at, at this point in time, right? So, um, th- the thing they were saying about it was he has forever acknowledged that he was involved in it. They've just never been able to like catch him <coughs> on like a recorder on video. They've never had enough to put like a warrant together to go after him. <coughs> But they've they've known about him being involved. <laughs> <laughs> they've known about him being involved for like a long, long fucking time. That felt really good. <laughs> so it did not sound good. Felt good. That was fucking a little excessive. Is what that was. Oh fuck. Yeah. So apparently, like this, and I didn't. I didn't see enough of it to know, like, if he did it on purpose, like, you know what? 
it's my time to like I lived a good life. It's my time to like come clean or whatever. But he went on this fucking thing and he did a deal where he like I'm not going into details, but yeah, I was, you know, I was in the car and I was sitting here and I had the gun and we pulled up and and apparently the the cops I'm wondering and this is what I thought because Normally, for like Statue of Liber- Limitations, Statue of Liberty, <laughs> Statue of Libertations. Nor- <laughs> Normally, for <That's> like <laughs> Statue of Limitations, oh, something new every day. It has, it has to be like it has to be like a closed case, right? Like cases closed, they deemed it like un solved or whatever it has to be closed for so long apparently before like statue of limitations (laughs) can come into effect or go into effect statue there's a t statue (laughs) no statute statute of limitation limitations (laughs) you got me all fucked up statute go ahead and look it up s-t-a-t s-t-a-t-u-t-e Statue. I can understand. Uh, I can understand with how your spelling is, how you could get the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> statue yeah. of Liberty, because that is a statue. Dude, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's exactly no, now, what I'm saying. Now so, look up the word statue. Yeah, no, I did. <laughs> first thing that uh, first thing comes up is Statue of Liberty. Anyway, <laughs> so like I said, uh, because well. Tupac's case is, has never been closed and it's never been like sealed and it's been like an often it's it's been a constant investigation since it was open. So the fact that he came out and said something, he doesn't fall into that limitations. <laughs> just giving <laughs> <those statue things. laughs> He doesn't fall into that yeah. because it's been an open investigation forever. So Soon as he went on the air and fucking said what he said, it was got him. I, mm. But what can he what can he get charged for since Tupac's still alive? But there was four other guys in that fucking vehicle though. They the cops know there was four guys in the vehicle and he was just one of them. So there's three other guys that were shooting guns that they don't have confessions from and blah 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 so that's the thing is he either gets the full rap of it all or he rats him out that's how they that's how they do that game right right and if he's going to if he's going to prison forever either way he's he's gotta be like he's not ratting he's in his 60s yeah yep what was it did you look his look up his name yeah it's gone i was Dwayne. Dwayne something something the rock johnson Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yeah, he's <laughs> it's going away forever. I really liked him. He was in a lot of movies that were just, you know, I don't see him as the kind of guy to do that thing, but yeah. Well, you never know. Who thought Aaron Hernandez was gonna go back to gangster, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching that documentary about Aaron Hernandez being like, You literally had the world by the balls. Yeah. And you crawled your way back to the fucking streets. Mm-hmm. For no reason, you had no reason to do it, but you did. Yeah. So, well, you learn, you live. Sometimes you get you fucked. Die. You laugh. You love. You, uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> live, love, laugh. Yep. Live, love, laugh. Here's a quick one. There was a British kid. He was 13 years old, struck by lightning on Friday the 13th at 1313. Yep. 13. yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking amazing. That is amazing. 13. It? Did he die? 13. 13. No. 13. He got burns on his body, but yeah, yeah. he didn't die. 13, 13. 13, 13, which on is one Friday 13, the yeah. 13th. And he was 13 years old. And he was 13 now, years old. I, Dude, how did they, they know that, that they, it was at 13, 13? And they said there was nothing wrong with him. He had burns. Well, yeah, but. But yeah, he didn't. He was struck by lightning and all he got was some burns. Yeah. But with electricity like that, you don't you don't really know. Like they could do the EKG and then at any point in time, you could get. Your heart could go into fucking AFib. You got no idea. Yeah. It could just throw it that much out of rhythm, just barely out of rhythm. So, like. Yeah, but, I mean, 
I feel like if you get hit by lightning, if you make it, if you make it to the hospital, like you won, you won the fucking battle <laughs> on that game. You know what I mean? Yeah. The yeah. rest of it, like you go into AFib, they'll shock you back in and you're fine. Well, that's, th- I mean, if you're, if you're still at the hospital, I mean, what if you're out deer hunting a week later and you're in, you're in a tree stand that happens and you know, you're right. fucked. I worry about shit like that. That happened to, uh, fuck. I was just talking to the guy like a couple weekends ago said he was out in the tree stand and I don't, I don't remember who it was, but he said he was out in the tree stand and he started going, feeling like shit. So he climbed down. Good thing he climbed down because all of a sudden, like <laughs> he like crawled his way to where somebody could find him out of the woods yeah. and called, called and his friend, said, Hey, called his come, friend who knew where me. he was. Come find me here. Yeah. 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 Sounds a and lot like, sh- sounds a lot like Billy Van Horn. That. <laughs> That was it. No, that was, you're, that's that him. was it. Yeah. yeah. I know All that right. story. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. because, yeah, I just saw him the other weekend at yeah. the wedding. Yeah. yeah. Yep. No, uh, yeah. When Billy had his heart attack, he was out deer hunting and all of a sudden he just started feeling like absolute shit. And he's like, I got to get down. So he got down and it was like worse, worse, worse. And he called his buddy, uh, I'm not gonna say his buddy's name because I know who I don't he know is. his buddy. But he called his buddy and uh said, Hey, I'm out at my deer stand. And obviously his buddy knew where his stand was. He's like, Call call the cops. I th- I think I'm having a heart attack or I'm I'm not gonna make it out, but I'm I'm between my stand and the road. And he started going for the road and he was just crawling his way out. Like cops and the MT met him. They come come out and he was yelling, they come and got him. No shit. Yeah. Yeah, I think about that sometimes. That and that I will say that spooks me. And and I'm not I'm not stitious, but uh you know, I'm probably not gonna go deer hunting on Friday the thirteenth. I just you know I'm not gonna go set my blind. Was he out on Friday the thirteenth? Is that when it was? No, I don't no. think it was Friday. I don't no. think he was but <clears throat> weird, huh? you guys do you guys kinda hunker down a little bit during Friday the thirteenth? No, I don't care. You know, I've never I I don't want to jinx it because, <laughs> and I do believe in jinxes. I will say I've had I've had good things happen on Friday the Thirteenth, and I've had like bad things, but not. I've never had the craziest story that's ever happened to me on Friday the Thirteenth. So when I was when I was in high school, I uh, I met this chick. We've been talking for a few weeks, and we had went on a few dates. It was going cool, whatever. I was talking to her through text message, T9 word. And uh, ended up, we scheduled, like, a date to go to, like, the movie theater in Clear Lake. And it was a Friday after school, whatever. Didn't think about it, but it was Friday the 13th. And so we go to the movie theater, and we're at this movie, and there was a bunch of us that went. And the couple that was hanging out with us, that were right in front of us, they started making out. And we're sitting there, and, of course, we start making out, right? Well, she was wearing, like, this skirt. And as we're making out, right, like, she grabbed my hand, put my hand, like, on her thigh, and I'm like, oh, okay. So then, like, I ran my hand up a little higher, and I grabbed a dick, and I was like, fuck, oh, <laughs> fuck this. Quaited it to fuck Friday the thirteenth. Yeah. It was that was straight bad. I luck. knew it. I knew this was coming. But like I I was about to stop him and just say, All right, we don't need any more of these fucking jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Has he told these jokes before? No, but some of them like stupid where he gets you going, gets you going, and then like, oh, pull some bullshit. <laughs> No, I can just I, tell by the way he was setting it up and making that fucking story so long and so yeah. long. I'm like, all right, he's setting something up. What's yeah. funny? What's <laughs> funny is the only thing false about that story is Friday the Thirteenth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, I've never really had anything like rememberable from Friday the Thirteenth. You know. <laughs> You know what? I don't even know why I'm friends with you guys. <laughs> you do it to 
yourself, man. <laughs> you do it to yourself. <laughs> For real. There's been I, I haven't had anything about Friday the thirteenth. That's <laughs> No rememberable Good. moments. Nope. No rememberable <laughs> moments. <laughs> okay, so now I had one. So now that you laughed at me, educate me on what the fuck I just did wrong because I don't still don't get the joke. Mem, not it's not rememberable. Uh, it's it's just memorable. memorable. It's rememberable. <laughs> it's definitely rememberable. <laughs> what's funny? What's funny is. <laughs> He didn't even know what he did wrong. No. <laughs> like, he, he didn't just say it on accident. But he was cussing hey, he us just, out. He thought it was the Dude, right fucking word. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I got words for days, man. I got words for days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> what a fucking idiot. Yeah, oh. That guy is such an idiot. It makes for a good time. It makes for a fucking great <laughs> Uh, What I do want to say, though, is just on the off chance that Friday the 13th is following you, make sure you stay home. Don't go to work. Don't do anything excessive. Hide. You'll be fine. Don't go out in public. You don't need to. Get through Friday the 13th with the bare minimal. I mean, you probably do need to because most people work. Well, I know, but... And they're I'm not going to let you like, oh, it's Friday the 13th. I'm trying, stay to, home. I'm trying to see if we can be the reason that nobody goes to work on Friday the 13th. <laughs> We're starting a movement. Nobody We're, works on Friday the 13th. It's the rememberable 13th. We're staying home. There you go. That's, That's better. It doesn't yeah. make sense, but it's better. It's it definitely makes, better. <laughs> if you don't think about it, it makes sense. I think that's how you get yourself into this situation yeah, <laughs> with just, these words you is you don't, don't think, think about it. Well, you know, hey, <laughs> you fucking guys, <laughs> you fucking guys. If so, you just put your dick where your mouth is, <laughs> you'd fucking get it too. God, I wish I could put my dick where my mouth is. <laughs> Question. Yes. If you could yes. put your dick in your mouth, would you suck it? No, I don't know. See, now you're questioning it. Don't think about it. Would you do it? If you could bend down, put your penis in your mouth, would you give yourself a blowy? This is literally a question that has gone ages. Yeah. I'm pretty sure since the Knights Templar. Uh, I bet you they would. They're trying. probably. <laughs> hey, Octavius, <laughs> if you could put your penis <laughs> into your mouth recess. Hey, I learned a trick. Let me show you. You can do it too. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Would you? Question. If you could, would you? That is the exact same question. <laughs> <laughs> no, the second question was. If I'm not you, as dumb as you think I thought I was once. <laughs> if you could and you did, would you finish in your own mouth? No, absolutely not. Pussy. Jeremy, how does no. that make me a pussy? No. You wouldn't, you wouldn't no. suck your own dick if no. you could. No, you wouldn't. Mm. Would you? Would you try it? I think I would. Also, the same. Question. I think I. Yeah, like what? <laughs> I'm digging here, man. I'm trying to get a yes. I know you are. Why don't you just yes. talk to yourself? Yeah, you <laughs> well, definitely I'm, would. I'm asking, would you try it? I said no. If you had the I ability, said, I said oh, no. I'm so sad. You're so sad. I said no. <laughs> He's part of that. Me too. So, yeah. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> okay, so. If you knew you could, you had the ability, you wouldn't try it. You just let it be. I think every guy would try it at least once. There, but, there you go. But like it wouldn't be no. Just so you would try it. You would try yeah, it. Yeah, everybody would try it once. If I was a you bad would. man, he'd like it and he'd do it more. But than you once. definitely wouldn't finish in your mouth, right? The no. first time no. he got told no on a blowy, I think he'd be in the shower doing it to himself. You know, blowjobs are great, but they're not great enough for you to do it to yourself. You know, there's so much that goes into this. You know, how bad does it hurt your back bending over that far? You know what I mean? Right. That would be uncomfortable as shit. Yeah. Well, it also depends. Like, for me, I would be doing it for a while. 
For you, all it would take is one fucking head knob and you're fucking blowing. <laughs> oh, dude, I'd, I'd probably be getting myself off like all the time. Yeah. If I, I could, guarantee it. If I could bend over <laughs> and do it to myself without my back getting sore and getting myself on lockjaw, fuck yeah, I think I'd do it. I I don't think you'd have a problem with lockjaw. You'd be finishing too quick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. It's a com hey, we're spreading awareness here. That's a common issue between men. Is it? It is. It is way more common than you think. You know how many guys fucking two pump chumps? There's a shit ton. And if you tell me that's not true, you're wrong. There's way more than you think. Over twenty five percent of men are fucking quick shooters. Proven fact. Also, you ever watched an animal in the wild fuck? Every single one of them is in, out, they're done. Do you they know have why? One mission, get that female yeah, that, that's, pregnant. That's why. Yeah. Because humans are in it for so the pleasure. Mostly. If you are a male and you last long time, you are the one that's in the wrong. That's not true. Genetically, you're designed to reproduce. It's in, out, get it done. Every animal does it like that. Set people that premature last ejaculation time. occurs when a man has an orgasm. Okay, we don't. Need, we know what it is. Yep, it's a. It's a not a common problem affecting roughly three to four percent of men. That that's a bullshit article. <laughs> the Cleveland Clinic. Dot org. That's bullshit article. I've read so many other ones that are not even. <laughs> but you don't read. So I how do, could I? You are a contradicting fuck. I <laughs> can read. You can read. Kind of. Yes. But you don't read. Why would you choose? Because oh, it affects you, I guess. You. That's why, the only reason. If you came really fast, would you read articles about coming fast to figure out if there was yeah, a solution? that's exactly what I just said. Exactly. That's why you read it. So I have read articles about, hey, can I come longer than not fast? It's 30 to 40% <laughs> of men. <laughs> what the fuck? 30 to 40%. 30 to 40% of men come yeah. fast. Huh. Yeah. See, I told you it's it's way more common than people think. So if you if you're listening to this and you're a man and you come fast, don't be fucking embarrassed. Odds are the woman that you're sleeping with has experienced a man that fucks fucking really quick. It is what it is. Joke about it. It is. Fucking laugh it off. Fucking cares. Dry, <laughs> dry dry yourself up, dry her up, fucking do it again. Yeah. Right? We are spreading awareness. Yeah. Love is in all angles. All angles. And with that, that's all I got to say about that. It's like that joke, you know, you walk into a whorehouse and pull down your pants and they look at it and start laughing. And like, who are you going to please with that? Yeah. You look at them, me. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. It's the same, same thing. <laughs> me. You don't, you don't need yeah. to please them. Please yourself. I'm telling you right now, if there's a woman out there that's going to make fun of you for coming fast, there's a woman out there that will appreciate it. Probably, yeah. Find her. You'll find her. She's out there. You'll know because she's going to be the one that doesn't want to have sex. You're out there. My wife says all the time, you're perfect for me. And it makes me feel great about myself. And that's why she says it. Exactly. Not because it's true, <laughs> but because it makes you feel good. <laughs> all she has to do is say it and not giggle when she's done saying it. And I know it's true. It's a true statement. She giggles, just not in front of you. She's respectful. Hey, same thing. <laughs> is it? Same thing. Yeah. Well... I think that's about the time we got, huh? You know what? I hope you guys have a safe Friday the 13th. Stay home. Stay Awareness. Home. Remembrance. What did you call it? It's rememberable. Rememberable 13. <laughs> rememberable 13. So if Don't be a rememberable If 13. your boss asks you, okay, love you by podcast, Colby, Brandon, and Jeremy, we told you, we told you you're allowed to stay home because you are in danger of all the shenanigans that happens on Friday the 13th. Stay home. Be safe so that you can see us on the following episode. Yeah. On Monday. Monday. The Monday 16th. the 20th. 20, 20, <laughs> 20th. 23rd. Whatever the fuck it is. Or the 16th. That's fine. Is it the 16th? It will be the 16th. It is the 16th. 23rd is the following. That's why I was off. All right. Oh, you just see that's what it was that shook the camera. You kicked it. <laughs> no, I just watched you fucking kick it. No, I didn't. I saw you go, oh, that's a good stretch. And the camera go, oh. <laughs>
You saw it, didn't yeah. you? Well, <laughs> fucking cum guzzling gutter slut. Wow. <laughs> How long did you think about that before you called me it? Half a second, maybe. Okay. That was too good. I've also used it before. Oh, that's right. You're not why. my first. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cum dumpster. Yeah. That's what you are. You take all the cum from all the men. Uh, prove it. Statue of Libertation says I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Statue of Lim- Libertation says. Anyway, everybody, thank you for checking this I'm out. Involved. Episode. Uh, go check out RustyLids.com. Get yourself a lid. Love you. L-O-V-E letter U for Love a sweet you. discount. Get yourself a discount. Yeah. Also, head over to the YouTube channel. If you haven't, please subscribe. It helps us subscribe. build this podcast so that we can provide better content better video, better audio. We can possibly start paying Jeremy at some point. Yeah. Or ourselves. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> also, check out the uh, affiliate links for Amazon. If there's some stuff in there that you like, you can buy it, whatever. It helps us out. But also, if you fucking buy something else through Amazon, through that link, it helps us out too. Absolutely. Doesn't even matter what it is. If and you I don't buy want to fucking draw this out cent- a whole lot farther, but... What? Go ahead and keep your eyes peeled because coming soon, we're going to start a, a another feed here where we kind of give like a demonstration for like how to start a podcast for an idiot. If you have no idea what you're doing, but you've always wanted to run a podcast or something are, similar, we're going to start a whole new podcast or a whole new channel where we can teach you the, the trials and tribulations that we went through trying to build a podcast for two guys that really didn't know a whole lot about what the fuck we were doing. Yeah. Keep your eyes open. That's going to be coming here soon in the future. Uh, we'll give you all the info that we fucking can give you. Yeah. Everything we've dealt with, if you have questions, hit us up. Whoa. We're not perfect. We haven't been perfect. We haven't got to perfect, but uh, we figured some shit out along the way, and we're glad to share that information. So, And this goes for everything, not just podcasts. If you want to be a game streamer or you want to do YouTube channels about whatever, it's it's all roughly the same type of shit. Yeah, we've we've had to figure out a lot of bullshit along the way. So yep. we'll help you out. Yep, 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 yep. Keep your eyes peeled. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for the notifications because we will post that channel information in our episodes in the description so that you know when it's up when it's going and you can jump on board and try to s- solve problems a lot faster than we did. So yeah. anyway, with that being said, oh. we will fucking see you guys next week on the 16th. We absolutely fucking love you. Love you guys. Love Thank you, guys. you for hanging out. Thank you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck, Fuck you. you. Okay. Love, love you. you. Bye. I'm chasing their butt cheeks up and down the corn. All these girls have cowboy boots and wear their Wrangler and fuck me in the butthole. Take two. Up and down the corn All these girls have cowboy boots And carry around their pitchforks Chasing their butt cheeks Up and down the corn All these girls have real nice butts And wear those Wrangler jean shorts <laughs> <laughs> Alright, dude uh, Pull chocks Pull chocks Thank you.